Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today I've got one, and I just found two, quick little projects that we're going to knock out that probably everybody that's going to be in a house, you know, more than a couple decades is going to run into. We're going to replace the sweep on this exterior door. This is going out to the garage. And I just found I need to replace one of the seals on the side as well. So you can see the rubber down here is deteriorating. That little strip there. Boy, do I need to wash this rug. <laughs> But they just get damaged over time. There's a rubber strip on the bottom of your doors that seals against the metal threshold. And they just wear out over time. And they snag and they break. And you end up with a gap. So I noticed bugs getting through. Time to replace it. And down here, I never noticed until right now. But I got this gap here too. Previous owners had a dog and they like to chew. Now I knew about this. This is just cosmetic. And I had some interior damage that I repaired years ago from it, but I never noticed this tear right here. So I'm gonna, this just peels off and I'll order another one of those and stick it on. No need for a video on that. But replacing this strip is not a big deal either. You do, however, have to take the door off the hinges. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go out in the garage, got a table set up and we're just going to use a easy universal kit to put a whole new one on and get ourselves a good seal. So the first thing to do, pop it off the hinges, get yourself a screwdriver, get a rubber mallet, pop these pins up and out, carefully take the door off and out. So now we can get a real good look at the extent of the damage and it's worse than I thought. Here's that piece that, you know, gave me the red flag, but look at over here. <laughs> They're completely missing, so this is I don't know, I've been worn, cut, chewed, something off, but this one piece was the only thing sealing anything through this door. So it's no wonder we had stuff getting in. So these are in, if it's an OEM door, usually just with two strips of rubber in channels and you can just pry it off. Uh, ow. <laughs> okay, it's gonna take two hands, but you just pry it off and there you can see, hopefully, I'm looking to make sure it's got a channel and not screwed or nailed on. Sometimes they are. Oh, this is stapled. Somebody tried to probably repair this. So I got some staples in here. It probably started to come apart and they thought they could fix it by just keeping it on the door. So I'm going to pull these staples out first. These are not probably stock, but it should just peel off to get off the door. Then I'll see if there's two channels cut in the door itself. That'll tell me if that's for sure. But let me pull these staples out and we'll get this off. So in this case, these staples are OEM. We have no channels in the wood. And those are the original fasteners to keep this on the door. But yours may have channels cut going across the door and little pieces of rubber sticking up here that just press in. They're very hard to get in to a door if you put a new strip on. So that's why I went with a universal kit, which I'll show you in a second. But now we can just pull this off, hopefully. Well, I'll just use this and drive this rest of the way off. And we'll show you the new one. Here's the universal piece that I got. These are about 10 bucks. I'll put a link down below. Depending on the color and size you need, you just measure the width of your door, pick your color, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't matter what type your original was. These go on, no muss, no fuss. Now there are super cheap ones that just stick on with tape. They suck, I've used those before, it just doesn't last. You can get originals however you had, then you have to put it back on and fasten it the same way. These basically just compression fit over the door, but really up and you can adjust it up or down to get the perfect fit. So you get this against the threshold exactly where you want it. So super easy and all we do is slide it on and tap it with the mallet and a little piece of wood to get it to fit. All we have to do is measure the door precisely, and then we're gonna cut this with a hacksaw, get it just the right width, put the door back on. Should be very easy. Got it cut to size, same as the old one, about a 16th of an inch over each side of the door. There are two heights. The uh, taller side goes on the inside, so this is the inside, and that would be the side facing up here. So now, we just slide it in place like so, oh, that's a little hard with one hand, <laughs> but you'll get the idea. Stretch it, get it over there, and there we go. So we're gonna slide this over the door and I'll have to wipe all that greasy schmutz off, but I've got this block of wood here and I'm just gonna take it and 
tap it using a mallet. I will get it all the way in place. And there we go. Brand new seal on. Don't worry about this stuff. This is just from the packaging. Sitting in the warehouse, it springs right back. Point is, it's all there. <laughs> so no more gap, no more bugs. Super easy. If you do end up needing more contact space, you just slide this down. Like I said, it's just compression fit. It's not fastened on. It's not going anywhere, but you can just use a screwdriver, tap this down. It's still a little flexible, so it's just grabbing on there real good and solid. And you can lower the whole thing wherever you need to to fill any gaps. Maybe your threshold has some damage. You can take care of it that way. But mine's normal, so that is good enough stock. Now it's just putting the door back on. Hope it helps. See you next time. Wow, what a difference. I was about to end the video, but just shutting the door, it pressurizes the house now. These walls shake and this door shakes, just closing it. I can hear it and feel it. <laughs> cool.